guys welcome back to my channel so do you notice anything different well if you follow me on Instagram you know that I got a ring light on Black Friday so I only I think I think I only paid like 60 something dollars for it and the regular price was over a hundred so <laughs> you know them Black Friday deals you can't miss them either way um I have a ring light so hopefully I mean, I still look kind of pale, but I'm pale in real life, honestly. Um, I have a little bit more of a yellow tint um, in real life, so this is kind of canceling that out and making me look very neutral, but um, I mean, it's better than looking gray, I think. So let me know down in the comment section uh, if you can notice a difference or whatever. And another good thing about um, getting a ring light is now I can film whenever because usually I would use natural light which is why sometimes I would look really orange and then sometimes I would look normal and then sometimes I would look really gray because the um, natural light would change all the time so now I have a consistent uh, source of light that is not going to you know dim and brighten without me uh, tampering with it so I don't know I notice a difference and I like it so just let me know down in the comment section if you like it hopefully you do um, but anyway in this video I'm going to be showing you how I got this eye look and you're probably looking at my lip color and like um, why are you wearing orange lips well like you probably can't really see it because I'll be honest with you I kind of messed up on this eye look but I didn't want to take it off because I was like let me try to finesse it and see what I can do and I think it turned out okay but um, I actually have a little bit of orange in my crease as a transition color so I was using this lip color to try to bring it out more because I know like when you first look at the eye look that it's mainly like red tones but there is a little bit of orange in there and to do this look I use the Modern Renaissance palette. Now I think I'm going to do two more looks with this palette and then move on to the Morphe palette or either the Morphe palette or I'm going to get into this palette because I haven't really um, really delved into it and used all the colors that I want. I have so many palettes like <laughs> that's my one weakness in makeup like I can have I can do my complexion at the same time every time I don't care but when it comes to eyeshadow palettes I love having variety I'm literally addicted to eyeshadow palettes so before I did my whole cleanup I like I could probably say I had about 11 eyeshadow palettes so now I'm down to four and um, you know I'm never gonna get rid of this palette this palette is like ride or die one of the best eyeshadow palettes I think that pardon me I think I've ever used the pigments are really blendable I think I've said this in another video but it's just a really versatile palette so I know I've been doing a lot of dramatic dramatic looks lately but I will be doing some more daytime looks too um, a little bit more light uh, light eyes but you know I <laughs> you know I love a good smoky eye okay anyway um yeah I like how it turned out. This eye is a little muddy, I'll be honest, because um, I did mess up on the outer corner. I tried to add a wing liner and then it just didn't look right, so I tried to go over it with eyeshadow, yada yada. I didn't want to take it off. I think it looks cute. And if you're curious what is on my lips, I am wearing a Smashbox um, Always On Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Out Loud. And like I said, this is like a very orange toned. Um, lipstick it has a little bit of a brown undertone but overall it's orange so I know it's like snowing outside at least here in Michigan we're pretty much in winter but I'm still feeling these fall vibes okay <laughs> anyway guys if you want to know how I got this eye look then keep on watching
let it go. You've got one life to live, don't let it go. Can you let go? Let go of it all tonight. Or will you decide to push on through and ignore the words inside? She's saying, ooh, you've got one life to live. She's singing, ooh, you've got one life to live. Don't let it go. Ooh, you've got one life to live. She's singing, ooh, you've got one life to live. Don't let it go. Okay guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up and press the subscribe button down in the description box so you don't miss any more content from me. And I hope you enjoyed this look. I realized, looking back at my footage after I filmed this video, that um, I didn't show you what I used on my under eye. But it's pretty much the same thing I used on the lid. Um, I just aligned my waterline with that Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner from Milani in Hooked on Espresso. And then I blended it out with Cypress Umber, and then I put in some of the Love Letter shade, and then I went in with Real Gar under that, and then used Burnt Orange to um, smoke it out a little bit more so I didn't have a harsh line under my eyes. So yeah, like I said, it's pretty much what I used on the top um, lid, so sorry I didn't show that. My bad. Anyway guys, um, let's just be real. I know I've been getting some comments about like, this doesn't even look that good. Okay, well, you know, look, I make these videos for myself. I never said I was a makeup artist, ever. <laughs> you and I, you and my viewers that have been with me for a little bit know that I'm not, I don't consider myself really a YouTuber. I do this because it's a hobby, I enjoy it, and I like doing my makeup. I'm not looking for perfection. I mean, because the average person on the street ain't gonna be all up in your eye look saying, ooh, you didn't blend that, or ooh, it looks a little muddy. Like, look, <laughs> that might happen, you know, for people that are in the industry, but us everyday folk that have day jobs and just like to look cute sometimes, we ain't looking for perfection, okay? So everybody that wants to comment saying it don't look good, look, you watched my video. Thank you for the view. Go ahead and leave me a thumbs down. I'm okay with it. I ain't getting paid. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope to see you in my next video. Positive vibes only, please. And I'll see you in the next one.